I got the tires on it. Um, also a switch come in for this motor. But uh, actually it's a pretty simple thing to do. You can't do it to all the motors because not all motors uh, have any, a way of doing it, an easy way of doing it, let's put it that way. Most motors that come from um, like maybe furnaces, furnace blowers, they usually have a way to, um, to change the wiring, to change the uh, way it rotates. But a lot of times, I'm getting there to see this here. So you have two wires coming in, um, well, it's probably three at ground. When you have metal conduit, though, that serves as your ground. But you'll have a positive and negative coming in. Uh, even though this is AC, it's still considered positive and negative. And those two are not the ones you change around. It's not like a DC motor. But they're the actual um, wires that are in the armature that you got to change around. And see this one, I can unconnect it. The other motor I couldn't because they were soldered together. But all I have to do is pull that wire and this wire, which are actually heading into the motor. They're not coming out of the out of the power source. And just flip, switch them around, and it'll switch a direction. It does something to the armature or a starter in there or something. I forget exactly how that works, but. I'm sure if you look on the internet, it explains it. It makes a lot of sense once they make a diagram out of it. But uh, all I have to do is continue this wire out, continue this wire out, and hook a wire to this and continue out, and hook a wire to the opposite end of this and continue it out, and then put them in that s the switch that I got. And that way the switch will be able to throw them back and forth without me having to take it apart. I'll show you the, that after I do it, but there's a look at that. So it's this wire here. See these are the two that are coming in from the plug. And these two going back into the motor. And that's the two you gotta switch. Here's the switch I got to hook that so that motor can uh, be reversed and what this switch will do is this one will always have the power going to it no matter where I flip this or no matter where I flip except when it flips to the middle when it's in the middle none of it's connected none of the wires are connected when it's flipped to one end or the other way, the top is connected, which is your main power wire. And then, um, and then the two wires you want to switch, one side's on here and one side's there. And when you flip this switch, one way it sends the current straight through here and straight through here. When you flip the switch, it switches it, so it sends the current this way, through this way, and through this way. Which you can see how that's connected up there, and connected here, and then it's connected in underneath with a piece of copper, and a piece of brass there, but... It's probably more. I'm probably making it a lot more confusing than it actually is. But a lot of AC motors, DC motors, no big deal to switch current. You just switch it from plus to minus, and it turns the other way. AC is a little more involved. Involved, and not all AC motors can do it. Any AC motor usually tells you on the outside plate if it can do it. It'll tell you right on it which wires to switch. But normally what you do is you switch them inside of here and you leave it. You either want to turn always one way or, or the other. But I want to be able to switch it from one way to the other. That's why I have to put the switch in.
Well, there's looks like what it looks like now that I'm done wiring it. Looks a little more neater. But I'll give it a try. I tried the motor, it does work, but I haven't tried it hooked to the um actually hooked to the barrel. Too bad. 